CompTIA Network Plus N10-009 Practice Exam Questions 171 through 175 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 171 A network administrator is investigating connectivity issues between multiple switches in a data center. Some devices are experiencing intermittent network drops and the administrator suspects a faulty uplink cable. To identify which switch port the problematic cable is connected to, which of the following is the best tool to use? The answer is B. LLDP. LLDP, or Link Layer Discovery Protocol, is a Layer 2 protocol used to identify directly connected network devices and their associated interfaces. By enabling LLDP, the administrator can gather information about neighboring devices including their port assignments, system names, and capabilities. This makes it easier to trace connections and locate the faulty uplink cable without needing to access each switch manually. Question 172. Which of the following describes a key distinction between end-of-life and end-of-support? The answer is A. End of life and sales, but may still have support. End of life means a product is no longer sold, but the manufacturer may still provide updates, patches, or support for a limited time. End of support indicates that all official updates, technical assistance, and security patches have ceased, making the product potentially vulnerable to security risks. Question 173. The company wants to ensure continuous operations in the event of a major outage. Which of the following backup site strategies would provide the fastest recovery time? The answer is C. Hot site. A hot site is a fully operational backup facility that is pre-configured with the necessary hardware, software, and data synchronization to take over operations immediately after a failure. This makes it the fastest recovery option compared to warm sites and cold sites. Question 174. Which type of DNS record is used to map a domain name to an IPv6 address? The answer is C. Quad A record. The Quad A record is a DNS record that maps a domain name to an IPv6 address. Unlike an A record which is used for IPv4 addresses, the Quad A record ensures that domains can be resolved for devices using IPv6 connectivity. Question 175. How many non-overlapping 22 MHz channels are available in the 2.4 GHz spectrum? The answer is C. 3. The 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band consists of 11 channels in North America. However, due to overlapping frequencies, only 3 channels, 1, 6, and 11 are considered non-overlapping when using 22 MHz wide signals. These channels are commonly used to minimize interference in environments with multiple access points operating on the same frequency band. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did, it's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.